Hey guys, it's Gary from the Disciples here, and today we're going to be doing a combo video on Dragon Link, the deck that I used to win the LCS 10. Uh, some people ask me about the combos, I think this is a weird deck to do like a combo video for, because a lot of the combos aren't linear, but you still have like some general lines that you're trying to do, you just do it like way more depend on, dependent on your hand than it was before, when Dragon Link was pretty linear, like you always wanted to go to Rom for Phylings, for Link Cross, for Herald. Nowadays it really depends on how you open, what extenders you open. But yeah, the idea here is going to be show some lines and then I'll go through to some test heads later. And as you can see, this is an actual card video. We have actual cards instead of just DB content. Uh, it's because I actually own this deck. And if you guys like this, make sure to like, subscribe and like let me know in the comments. Because I, I like seeing like v combo videos with actual cards. I don't know if you guys think it's better as well. And might do some, you know, remote duo content or like stream some remote duo tournaments if you guys are feeling like it. So let me know in the comments. But trying into the video, we have the first line, which is basically the CULP line, as you can say. Uh, kind of means when you can resolve LP under CU. So that means when you have CU plus two arrows, or when you have CU plus World Legacy God Dragon, because World Legacy God Dragon just moves the LP. So this starts as normal, we go see for the fact, add this. For this example, we need to world, actually World Legacy God Dragon the C for here. Just so we have a monster to revive, because you can't revive the Black Dragon. Uh, we make Striker, we're going to add the boot. Uh, glare, yeah. Uh, then we can special summon the Collapse Serpent, link to into the Heretic Seal. We're going to add the Wyvern Buster. Wyvern Buster banishes the Collapse Serpent to special summon. Uh, you make the LP. Then you would like a Secret Dragon to move it, right? So you move it here. Uh, then here you have actually some options. You can LP for Chamber and then Chamber into Tiding. But if you do that, you can't Apollo because you're going to miss a monster. You can. Uh, you, you can you can search live in here, sorry, summon Brotar Tarch, search live in. Uh, but then you need a discard, but it's usually the best line because it's the one that gets you to Apollo. Or you can summon Black Metal Dragon and do the Apollo play, uh, do the same Apollo play that you're gonna do. But then you don't need a discard for the Brotar, Tower, but you don't hand loop one with live in. So it depends on what your hand is, how much you care about the three other cards in your hand. Uh, I'm just assuming there are blanks here. So we're going to summon this Brotar, Tower, we're going to discard any card. I'm going to add a live in here. This means we can make the Pisty here. So then LP and CO point here, so you can use the Pisty, just reborn the Seaford for argument's sake. This two go into the Romulus, so we can clear the War Dragon restriction and get the Ravine, that's what's going to get us through the Tracer later. So we just search the Dragon's Ravine. We can summon the Levy by banishing Striker, LP, I guess Pisty, LP, Striker, whatever. If you have other directs, you probably would want to keep LP, but this is just for argument's sake. So we banish 3, Levy is going to hand loop 1, so now we have 4 cards in hand. Then Levy, Rom, and Seifert make a 3 material Palooza, which is nice because uh, it kind of forces a nib here, which would A, trigger Seal, B, you would still have Ravine Boot Sector. So you can still end on Seal Savage if they enable you. So this is a uh, True Material Apollo. And then we can activate the Ravine, discard the other blank, send a Router, Router gets Tracer. Yeah, I was shuffling by nature. <laughs> uh, activate the Boot Sector, Boot Sector the Tracer. Tracer can pop the World Legacy or Dragon here. If you don't have World Legacy, you just pop the Boot Sector. You can summon the level 4 rocket. Oh god, yeah, it's here. Uh, this, the silver rocket for the purpose of those combos is, is a rocket recharger, okay? I don't have a rocket recharger on me, so just pretend this is a recharger. It doesn't matter here, but it can matter for some of the lines. And then those two make a synchro weight. You could make Chaos Ruler, but Chaos Ruler requires RNG, so just for the sake of this combo, you probably make Savage. Against Control, it's arguable Chaos Ruler is better because it's more pressure. But let's make Savage, and it's a 2 material Savage, 2, two counter Savage. And then, in this case, since you start to do Seifert, you can banish the Seifert to add back the Levinier. 
So from two dragons you end on seal, a three mana Apollo, a, a savage with two negates. You'd have the one card in hand you started with, and uh, the eleven year add back. And they also are playing with five cards. So yeah, uh, pretty good end board. This is combo one. The other standard line I wanted to show, if I can do it pretty quickly, is when you don't have an extender, so it's only two dragons, which is a line a lot of people ask about. Is one of the main reasons you kind of have to play Ravine, unfortunately, even though it's not the best card ever to draw. You can see Ravine comes up in a lot of like the simplified combos. So let's just say we have three Ash, a Seifert, and a Gamma, whatever. Right. So the idea is the same. We are going to do the just grab those real quicker. We're going to do the Striker Dragon at the Boot Sector, especially Weaver Buster. Manage to collapse serpent. Here, though, uh, if you can do seal pass, well, I don't think seal pass is a bad play. But this is like, how far can you go from just Romulus? It's more of a thinking exercise than it is like an actual real life, life combo. Because this plays into a lot, and realistically, in this deck, if you only have two dragons, it means that the other four cards in your hand are hand traps, right? Because otherwise, anything would be an extender. So most of the time, it's fine to seal pass, but assuming you open a no. Three gamma driver, whatever, and you need to push, or you're playing against a deck that if doesn't play hand traps, and you want to go for like a value play, just for argument's sake, let's do this. So we make the Romulus. The Rom can search the ravine. We can activate the ravine. Ditch one of our four dead cards. Let's just ditch the gamma here. Send the abs, and the abs is gonna add the tracer. Then you need to boot sector. Uh, boot sector summon the tracer. Tracer is gonna pop the boot sector. Just summon the recharger. This is a recharger. Uh, this is gonna actually come up here, and this is one of the reasons recharger is the best level for rocket by far. Is that you're actually gonna go striker dragon pop a monster and use recharger to revive. As you can see, we can go striker dragon. Then LP. For this line, I guess you could have done them like this. It's placed around Ghost Ogre, not that that should be that relevant. There are some weird lines that this is actually the correct the correct one, because you can go like Striker Dragon, pop the LP, and then uh, Radom the Banish to Banish the Pisty. So we're not Guard Dragon locked, and you don't need to go into Romulus. But since here we're Dark Locked, we're not going to do a Palus, of course, so it's irrelevant. So it's probably just better to play around Ghost Ogre, like this. Uh, you go the LP effect. You can summon the Chamber to search a Tiding, or you can summon the Bro Tower to search a Levy. I think on this hand, because the body of the um, the body of the Levy would be dead, you might just go for Chamber since it's like better. A, a bounce is usually better than a random card loop, so you just search a Tiding. And then here is the interesting part: uh, you can't go into Seal here, which would be very good because you're Dark Locked from Tracer. So what you're actually going to do is that you're going to go Striker Dragon, pop the LP, and you're going to add the Rocket Recharger. This is a Recharger. <laughs> and then Recharger effect is going to activate, you're going to discard to Special Summon a Tracer. So now you do have... This two can do a Savage, this two can do a Chaos Ruler. You can also go this into Pisty. And then pasty the the Star Leech back, so you have a Seaford Engrave. And then those two make the Savage, or the Chaos Ruler. If you do it the other way around, uh, with the arrows, so just draw back here a little. If instead of doing LP Striker, you do Striker LP, and then you pisty, you're going to end with the pisty here, and the Striker here. So those two are actually pressure your opponent has to clear. So it's one of the reasons, I mean, it depends if they play Ghost Ogre or not, how how much you want to play into it, so I think this is usually better than if you're going to end on those. You can also do Boho Search from here, so whatever, let's do it like this, you're going to summon the Pisty, the Pisty is going to reborn the Seaford, the Seaford and the Tracer can make the Savage, then the Savage is going to equip an LP, which is unfortunate, so it's only a one negate Savage, and then you set the Tidy and pass. So from like two cards, so like 
two dragons plus a card from this card you end on like two negates and these are all pressure because this can reborn anything in his turn and this is monstrous so like if it doesn't do anything this is like bonus sword you could also theoretically just do it like this now and just like make the bonus sword in your turn but I don't think it's usually worth it, you probably want to save them and it, one of those cards is probably gonna be what you end up bouncing for the tiding so it's probably not worth just making the boss sword but if you're going second it's like a valid play that going second you do the exact same thing but then you just make the boss sword here so it's like boss sword savage from two dragons so yeah those are like the two main combo lines but I think combo lines are a bit boring. I think the funny thing is when we can just pick up hands and play. So that's what we'll be doing now. Okay, so some hands. I'm just shuffling. This is all on the fly, so it's probably going to take a while to do the plays. But yeah, let's see what we can get. Uh, just one thing, uh, the recharger, as in the last video, sorry, the silver rocket's a recharger. And this is my Chaos Ruler proxy. It didn't arrive yet, so just consider this Void Ogre as a Chaos Ruler. And yeah. Let's see, so going first, 5 cards in hand, this is a hand, this is, this is pretty good, <laughs> uh, I don't know, let me think, so this tiding, this is going to be the normal summon, and this is going to be the one from on this card, I think this is like kind of set, so we can probably make Chaos Ruler, let's make Chaos Ruler, Chaos, Chaos Ruler makes all the, the, the combos funnier, so let's start with normal summoning the chamber as it's probably the best play if we get rolled we can still just seal tidying pass so yeah get a tidying um, can go one for one pitch the abso router Just summon a bro tower. Then uh, chain one bro tower, chain two router. Arguably, this was better in two draw because you guarantee a tracer, so you can end on seal savage. I guess it depends if you want to end on seal savage or seal tidy. This is a seal savage levy. Maybe just start with the one for one is better in two draw. It's also more likely they would like not choose choose not to ash because of the. Um, the gamma. So yeah, we're going to search this levy here by dumping the second chamber and the tracer from the Absor router. Then this one can make the striker dragon. The striker dragon can add the boot sector. We can boot sector to special this tracer. And then let's make the, the Pega Dragon, <laughs> which is from the, the Chaos Ruler. So Chaos Ruler will activate. We can mill 5. This is a very shit Chaos Ruler mill. We just got this Gamma. Uh, I guess the Chaos Space is going to be good because we have a uh, Baby Dragon in hand. But yeah. Um, so from here, those two make the Heretic Seal, I assume. Probably the best play. Then we can banish a dark, which I think we just banish the striker dragon here. Just some of this weaver buster. Uh, this is going to make the striker. The weaver buster is going to activate, so we can search the K the baby chaos dragon. We can banish it. Just some collapse serpent, and then we use the chaos space to put back. So, oopsie. Banish this to put back this and draw one. So, yeah. Draw under that card. The Collapse Serpent is going to make the LP, which adds the Swipe and Buster. So, from here, uh, we're trying to end on a Palooza, Hot Red, Sanophone, Savage, Seal. I don't know if we can do all of them. Uh, we probably got a freestyle a bit here. So for good LP targets here, we don't have Bro Tower because we already used it and already searched it. We don't have Seifert, so the LP target probably just has to be the Black Metal Dragon. That's the best one here, I think. 
because we can make the pisty from with it and then this black metal is going to search the RedMD we then banish this LP to summon the RedMD we we use the PST to revive, so let's just reborn a relevant card. I assume it's the Tracer. Then the Striker and this PST can go into the Romulus. It's a similar line from the first one I showed you. This is like the most common line in our trying to Apollo. Uh, we're going to add the Ravine to your hand. So now, uh, Chaos, we have the this revive still. This Levineer and the Chaos Ruler in the graveyard are enough to make the... Um, what's the name? To make the Sanafond. Tracer is enough for Savage. I unfortunately don't think we can add on Sanafond, Hothead, Savage, Apollo, which would be very cool. But probably a bit over the top and unnecessary. The best play here probably is just Red Eyes bring anything back. Let's just bring the, the Chamber. Then we can use. Uh, actually, if we bring the Chaos Ruler back, is there a way we can do it? Maybe. I mean, let me try it. I'm unsure. I'm I'm freestyling this. So this is the Chaos Ruler. So just bring it back with the red eyes. Uh, sorry. Can we have one? And the Levy. Yeah, I don't think we can end on everything, unfortunately. I'm just going to renegade the, the hot rod. I mean, this is probably good enough and I'm probably winning anyway. This is just irrelevant in the end of the day. So yeah, you can do this. Then you can go Tracer, pop this boot sector. Let's just summon the rocket recharger. Those two can then make the savage. The Savage can equip the Rom. You can then summon the Levy, banishing three darks. So let's just banish the Black Metal, the Collapse Serpent, and the one of the chambers. So we loop a card, and then the Chaos Ruler can summon itself from the graveyard by. Oh, we don't have a light yet. Oops. I mean, so we probably just do this first. I will do this after, but just Ravine ditch this Gamma we drew. Shoot them a Seifert. So we have the Seifert for next turn. And now we have the Light to Banish for the Chaos Ruler. With the Dark from here. So we can resummon the Chaos Ruler and overlay the two of these into the, the Santa Font. Uh, it's probably better to detach the Chaos Ruler because if we keep it under this and we use it next turn, we can't use its effect reborn. Because we would be locked under our own Sanaphones, we just detach this this turn. And then next turn we will detach the Levin here and Seifert it back. The other option is just keep it here, detach this, and Seifert add the Levy. It's irrelevant. I think the other line is slightly better. So just do it like this. And so from that hand we end on Seal, Apple, Sanaphone, Savage, with the Tiding. With two in hand, so this Wyvern Buster is a... Uh, can make the striker that gets the recharge that reborns the Red MD. And this is just a discard for this, and we have the Levin Years follow up, the Seal as follow up, the Tiding reborn the Chamber as follow up. So I think this is a pretty good hand. Uh, even with like a suboptimal Chaos Ruler mill, I think people like overweight Chaos Ruler for its mill, but a lot of the time the body just helping you make Sanaphone, which is pretty good against both Virtual Road and Drytron. Uh, is the most important part of it, and of course, it's like most of the time going to hit something good. There are so many good targets in this deck. You can hit a hand trap, both side you can hit Lancer, Psycho Reader, you can like hit Router, hit Tiding, hit Chaos Space. So, yeah, let's do another hand. Let me know if you guys think this is going too fast, too slow. If you like this kind of content, I think like seeing someone doing free hands. Sometimes can help you understand the deck better than just like looking at a spreadsheet. No, no shots fired, Nash. Uh, it's just about like seeing how the thought process goes. Like, why am I doing this first? Why this is happening in this order? So this is how like you can get better with a deck, and I think this deck's pretty hard.
So for hands we have Chaos Space, Rocket Synchron, Collapse Serpent, Ravine, and Gamma. It's okay. Uh, the greedy play is Chaos Space, Ditch, Gamma, Add, Lavinia. That's like the best play in a non-interrupt scenario. But if this was a real game, you would never do that because you you have Chaos Space plus Gamma plus a discard, and you really wanna like because this eats like most of the common hand traps. Like Lancia would be happening on the resolution, Draw would be happening on the resolution, and the um... oh god, what's the name? <laughs> and you dash, you dash the the Chaos Space. So I think the play here is just to Chaos Space ditch this Black Dragon. And not the white. Even if it's like less greedy, you, you you don't need to be super greedy to win the game, you just gotta do enough. And you don't wanna get blown out by a hand trap if you can play around it, right? So we can search this, special this, finish the chaos space, put this on bottom, not draw boot sector here. Yeah, this is not the best thing ever. It's not bad I guess, but it's like not great. So you make striker, you search collapse serpent, and you search the boot sector that you hope that you gladly didn't draw. So from here we did a normal summon yet. Uh, I think Chaos Ruler might be a decent play here again. Your hand is like kinda low impact. It plays into a nib if we try to do the best way to Chaos Ruler, because the best way to Chaos Ruler would be Ravine, Ditch, Space or Gamma, probably Gamma I guess, since we have, uh, uh, I don't know, probably probably, probably, probably Ditching Space. So it'll go like this, Ditch the Space, send the Router. So this is like, you send Router, you add the Tracer, right? Issue is if you go like boot sector, summon both, collapse serpent, this like super plays into Nibiru. Uh, so the other play is slightly better into Nib. So again, this is a matter of how much how much you wanna respect Nib. Do you know your opponent's playing it? Because if if it, if he's not and you like know he's not playing Nib, or if it's like game one and it's like that usually doesn't play Nib, you could go for this play. Uh, I would just usually go for the safer play, but for the sake of the combo, let's just go into it and make the make the Chaos Ruler again. So we can summon both of these. Banish the white. to summon the black. And then we make the Chaos Ruler. We did a normal summon yet, so we're still in a pretty, pretty good position, because if this Chaos Ruler hits like a chamber or something, we can just normal summon it. So, Chaos Ruler would excavate 5. Oh god. <sighs> okay, so this is like a very bad scenario because our Chaos Ruler just decided to say no, I'm not hitting anything. Uh, just full whiff. Which is super unlikely because every monster other than Ash is light or dark. So, even if it was like Nib or something, it would be better. But, well, it's not the end of the world. We can still do things. We can... Uh, one play that you can do is that we could go Striker, pop the pop the Ruler, so like Striker, pop Ruler, add Tracer. Then you normal the Tracer, those two make Seal, uh, Tracer pop and make Savage. This is one play from this position. The other play is these two make hot red and then you can this two make hot red and then you can trade this pop get this normal summon and make the savage or just not or just normal summon and the and make the seal with the chaos ruler coming back i think from here i'm actually because like, you're kind of cleared for Neb if you did that, right? So I think we can be a bit greedy and play into it. So I'm just put the game set correctly yeah, like this. Okay. Um, I 
It, it's it's rough. It's rough. The, the Chaos Ruler mill with him wasn't that good. But I think we can still do enough to justify this hand. If we go... If, if I discarded the Gamma, it would have been better, because it would have a light to instantly reborn this Chaos Ruler. So maybe discarding the second Chaos Space was a mistake. But let's just, just go with the flow now. Um... Uh, this is this is annoying. I guess I think what I would do is link these two off. I guess you don't need to waste a striker dragon for doing this way. Let's just do it this way then. Uh, striker would pop the synchron to get a tracer. Then these two can make the heretic seal. You can normal the tracer. Tracer pop the boot sector. Summon the recharger. And then we are kind of working from the same line we worked on the, the Recharger combo. But then you have Seal over it, so it's slightly better now. So you can make the Striker and the LP with this two. This LP can summon a uh, Black Metal. The Black Metal can get a Pisty. Which reborns the red MD. Reborn just adds. <laughs> you banish this to add this, you go pisty effect. So we can summon the Void Ogre. And then this can reborn the Rocket Synchron. And then you can end do this to each hot red. Or you can one reborns this, one reborns this, and then you end on Savage instead. It's not the best thing. This is one of the, the weird parts about Chaos Ruler when, when it whiffs. I guess if we did like the other play, it would be slightly similar. We would probably have like an extra tiding or a hand loop. But yeah, this is this is okay. Okay -ish still. It's not like the best thing ever. But yeah. I think this is it. We can do more test hands later if you feel if you're feeling like it. Uh Comment, like, and subscribe if you enjoyed the test hand content. I think it was pretty nice. And let me know if anything else you want to see. If you want to see like a specific combination of hands. If you like seeing stale combos or if you like seeing combo hands more. And yeah, that's it. See you guys. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. As well as following all of our socials in the description below. Also, don't forget to check out our sponsors at The Brotherhood Games. Mesma and Card Market down for high quality products and one of the best tournament organizers in the UK. Thanks for watching guys and see you in the next video.